Once you've created an event or an arrangement, you can edit every single detail for every event or you can bulk change information for some or all of the events within your arrangement. The select icons give you different options for bulk changes, for example, taking all the events, all the future events and so on. You can also just manually take any number of events from the list. Note that the event you're currently viewing will be automatically ticked. In order to deselect it, just click on the name of any other event. Now let's say you want to change the location for every second event. When you click the respective icon, all events in question will be ticked. On the right side you can see that all the fields are greyed out. This is the information that will not be changed. You can open or close every single field by clicking on its name. To change the location, open this field and remove the location name. The list will then show you all the locations that are available for the chosen date and time slot in black letters, while the unavailable locations will appear in grey. Choose a new location and hit Save. Asimut will run the clash check and if there are no clashes, the location will automatically be changed for every second event. You can do this for all the details like time, persons or description and you can tick and untick the events just as you wish. Adding persons is also really simple. If you for example want to add a professor to all the events, you click the select all icon, open the persons field and start typing the professor's name. A list will pop up to the left listing the persons with the typed letters in their name. Now you can either click the name of a person on the list or in case you want to add the very first person simply hit the slash key on your keyboard. You can even change the role in which the persons will be participating in the event. Just change the letters in front of the person to one of the role abbreviations that are set up in your system. Remember to use the right abbreviation though. Now if you want to add a whole person group, you start by typing a star and then the group's name. Then the list will show you only person groups. Just like with the single persons, you can add them by clicking on them or hitting the slash key. But in our case, we now just want to go with one professor and without the additional person group. The clash check will run and all changes will be saved. If you want to add another event to this arrangement, you can use the pre-filled information by clicking on one of the other events. Choose a new date and change further details where needed, for example by adding a person. Click on save and the event with your chosen information will be added to the list. Sometimes you might want to inform the participants about a cancellation or changes in an event. For that purpose Asimut offers you some mail links. You can set up templates which will then automatically open with pre-filled information and the email addresses of all participants in the event. All those features give you much more flexibility for your daily timetabling. We hope you like them!